Hello everybody, today we're going to explore my favorite WooCommerce block, the All Products block. This versatile block can transform any page into a fully functioning shop. It's highly adaptable and can be customized to suit your needs. I'll also show you how themes can take it to the next level. Now let's dive right in. If you're new to Gutenberg, there's many ways to add a block. You can either hit the black plus, which will bring up your most recent blocks that you've used. Or you can even search up the block you're looking for. All, and as you can see, it already populates the field with what we're looking for. You can also use Browse All Blocks, which will bring up the same menu as if you were to hit this blue plus. Now, as you can see, there's tons of blocks to choose from, but we're looking for all the WooCommerce blocks, which are all the way at the bottom. And there's the block we're looking for. You can also search up here as well for what you're looking for, and it will populate at the top. There's another way to add it if you just hit backslash all, and then you can just click on that. Now, as you can see, that's already populated with products that we have in our shop. And there's two areas that control two different parts of this block. You have the pencil icon which controls how the order of the individual items are shown. And we'll get into that later. And over here on the right, we have the controls for how many columns you want it to show, how many rows you want it to show. Also, if you want to show the drop down for them to be able to pick how they want to see their items in their shop. And you can also have the default setting however you like. If you'd like to change how the individual items are laid out, you just need to go to the little pencil, click on it, and now you can see the layout of the individual item. Now you can move these around wherever you like. If you hold in between, you'll get a little plus symbol. Click on that. And these are some of the blocks that are available for you to add to this particular item. You can hit browse all and it will give you all the items that are able to be dropped in. Now, if you're done or you don't like how it looks, you just hit reset layout and hit done. And there you go. Let's make this look a little bit better. We'll go down to just three columns, a few more rows, and there's another way for you to change how these look. Some themes come with styles, and those styles will be up here. As you see, this is my theme, so I have a couple different styles to make it look a little better, depending on what you like. You can not only just change how things look, but you can also change how this is going to function press enter and we're gonna add the ability to filter filter by price so type in price filter by price and now they can edit a range of prices so if we look on the front end you just click this laptop looking icon and preview And now your customer can set a price range of what they're looking for. And it will automatically filter out anything that is not in that price range. It is a helpful tool for your customers and also makes your shop a little bit more functional. Now let's go ahead and close out that window. We'll get rid of this block. There are more filters that you can use for this block. So enter slash filter. These are all the filters that you can add and you can play around with these, see which ones you would like to have on your store. You know, just give your customers as many options as you can and, you know, make it more functional. All right. Hopefully you have a better understanding about the all products block and can start building an awesome shop for your own website. Please leave a like comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos about WooCommerce and WordPress. Thanks for watching. Bye.